You've made the mistake. There is no turning back. It's the pro rata rule. It's if you put after-tax money into an IRA pre-tax account. It happens. It's a mistake. And once you've done it, you, there's no turning back. You have to follow this silly rule that the IRS put into place called the pro rata rule. It gets confusing. I want to break that down for you to show you how you're going to do it, how you can still do Roth conversions, but now you have to take in effect this rule that comes into play. If we haven't met, I'm Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers, where we don't just invest your dough. We like to educate you on your dough. So let's step over here to the handy dandy board and let's talk about this. Now, common sense would say what a CPA once told me to do for a client, but unfortunately, it's not the actual facts. If you think about this, you would say, well, you know what? I've got an IRA over here that's all pre-tax and I'm going to put, uh, I've got 94,000 in it. Well, guess what? Now I want to do the backdoor Roth IRA. So I'm going to open up another IRA and I'm just going to put 6,000 after-tax dollars into this. How do you have after-tax dollars that go into a tax in a pre-tax account? Well, it depends on the amount of income you have. If you have a 401k at your job or a, an employer retirement plan, or if your spouse does, a lot of things can come into play that may make your IRA contribution not tax deductible. So this is after-tax money that goes into the IRA. Well, if you have 94,000 here, 6,000 of after-tax, and you wanna convert it to Roth, well, you just say, well, hey, I'm just gonna take my 6,000 after-tax money and put it in the Roth. Unfortunately, that's not the case. That's not how this is going to work, even though I actually had a CPA tell me to do this for a client. It does not work that way. Instead, the pro rata rule, the way this is going to work is a bit different. And so what the IRS looks at is the total amount of all IRA accounts. So if you have an IRA over here with $25,000 and you've got another one, a simple IRA from an old plan with 25,000, and then you've got another 25, Let's just say your total balance now is 100,000 for all of your IRA accounts. You've got to know that you what the total balance is for all. This does not include 401k plans, things like that. Those are separate. This is strictly IRA accounts. If you've got 100, let's just say that part of that money you had just contributed $6,000 in after-tax dollars because you wanted to do the Roth conversion backdoor Roth IRA strategy. So let's say that you put 6,000 in here. Well, that's after tax money, but the rest of it is all pre-tax money. Well, what you have to do is you're going to take the amount that you put in that is all after tax, 6,000. You're going to divide that by the total balance of all of your IRA accounts. So right here, now you're going to have 6%. So 6% is the amount of after-tax money that's in the IRA. Now that you have that number and you say, you know what, I wanna do a Roth conversion this year. I wanna take part of this money in this IRA, convert it to Roth. What you're going to do is you're gonna say, well, let's take this 6,000 of after-tax money and convert it to Roth. What ends up happening though, is now you take the 6,000, you have to multiply that by 6% and the amount that actually gets converted that is tax-free out of this money right here is only that 6%, which is $360. The rest of the money is actually going to be converted, is going to be taxable income for you. So you have to be really careful when you're doing this. You can't just say, I'm just going to convert the 6,000 and it's all going to be after-tax money, no problem. It does not work that way. The IRS made this super difficult, super confusing. It's one that we help with clients here at Jazz Wealth. If you haven't checked us out, you can do that by going to jazzwealth.com. We'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.